Hopefully by the time I posted this video, I thought of a cool, clever name for these creative vlogs or updates, but right now I don't have one, but here's an update of what I'm working on. So first off, if all goes as planned, you'll see this video first on Tuesday morning, and later in the day I'm going to be uploading a video talking about my FD cameras from Canon, my manual focus FD cameras. So if you want to see that video, please make sure you subscribe and click the bell and be notified when that video is uploaded. Okay, so some of the things I've been working on. Going into this year, one of my goals was to start making photos in the darkroom, traditional darkroom photos. And so far it's been going pretty well. I'm still perfecting my workflow and getting the practice in. But here are a few that I made recently. This is just a desert landscape photo. I've been concentrating on five by sevens to make sure I get the workflow down. Um, this one, it might be hard to tell unless I show you some before and afters, but to make it interesting, I did a lot of dodging, dodging and burning on the, on the, on the photo to really make it pop and to increase the, increase the contrast and interest of the photo and the drama of the photo. And here are some other city shots or downtown Vegas shots that I've created lately. So I've been spending more time in the dark room and I'm hoping to um, expand my capabilities so I can start making up to 11 by 14 prints. Technically now I can do eight by tens, but hopefully I can do 11 by 14 by the late fall or end of the year, as well as prints for medium format. As you can see from my videos and some of the pictures I just showed you, I've been bouncing between landscape and city shots as far as what I've been printing. But most of my shooting adventures lately have been cityscape, urban landscape type stuff. But I have a photo book project in mind that's about the desert. So it's going to incorporate a lot of landscape and nature shots that I need to go capture. So I'll be just spending a little bit more time with nature and landscape shots than I have in the past year. But I'm also going to have to go through some of my archives to see if I have shots already that will work for this book. Okay, one thing I've been researching lately um, was a small camera option to carry around to shoot street stuff. Something I feel a little more comfortable throwing in the car, carrying around on an everyday basis, but I would like to find something smaller than my X-H1 and my 6D, preferably digital, but if I find something su super small that's a really cool film camera, I'll get that as well. But right now, in terms of film cameras, I have my Rebel G and my Canon AT1, which are relatively small, so I feel like I have sm a small camera in the film lineup that I'm, I'm pretty good with. What I'm considering in the digital world is something like the Fujifilm X-E3 or the X-T20 or X-T30. I'm debating on whether to invest in one of those for street, everyday street photography type stuff. Um, if any of you guys use the X-T20 or X-T3, let me know how you like it. The X-E3 has a rangefinder type design and the X-T20 is more a traditional SLR looking camera and the internals of both are very, very, very similar. So I'm thinking about selling some of my older gear that I don't use and investing in one of those just to have something small as an everyday carry type camera, almost like a digital version of my Rebel G or my uh, AT1. As I collect more prints from the darkroom as well as prints from my uh, Pro 100, I want to start selling some select prints online. So I'm trying to figure out the best option to do that. Before it's just been kind of direct one-on-one -on -one type contact through email and if I've if people have asked me on Instagram, but I want to set up some sort of store. It won't be like a gallery and you select which one you want me to print, not yet. Right now it's probably going to be where I show you what prints are printed and are already available and then they can be ordered. So I'm debating on which avenue to take to set up that type of store and it might just be an Etsy store but if you guys have suggestions on how to approach that I'm open to them so let me know. As of right now I'm planning on doing an Etsy store to start selling some prints. Another thing I'm working on are some Lightroom presets or some sort of presets. Right now I'm thinking it's going to be for Lightroom. There are a couple looks I have that I like to use for city and street type stuff. The presets would be for color and black and white. Just some of the looks and styles that I'd like to incorporate in my photos that you guys may want to 
check out and try for yourself. So, so once I get those packaged up, I'll let you know how to get those. So that's it for now. That's just some of my photography updates. So subscribe if you haven't yet and click the bell to be notified of new videos like the one I'm uploading later today on my FD cameras. And just like always, I appreciate you watching. I'll talk to you soon.